What's up with Brett this episode, dude? It's like from last week, he's turned into a full-blown workaholic. I can't get the guy off his computer. He is so consumed with work, he's driven. Like too much of a good thing. 100%, yeah. Welcome to episode seven of Mobbed Up. I'm your host, Chef Donnie Delicious, and on today's episode, we are going to be making steak frites. Let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. That burn from last episode has me shook. You are, you are so in your own head. I'm gonna use the guard. <laughs> Disgusting cloudy water here. This is why we're rinsing our frites to ensure that all that starchiness, the dust, all that sediment comes off of it. And so we're gonna keep rinsing it with cold water until the until the water runs clear, similar to when you rinse rice. Look how clear, crystal clear that water is. After five or six rinses, we got that beautiful clear water. Pop it in the fridge for an hour. Yeah, I gotta keep it trilly on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots around my neck. Self respect when you out of line, you put yourself in check. Oh, they don't hear me. They don't, they don't, they don't hear me though. Cycles going around and around and around like a merry go. Stand for truth or fall for any old scenario. That's why I keep my circle smaller than the cherry. Bro, he has been working way too hard. What do you think? He's, he, I told you, he's killing himself over there. Workaholic. This is like need to be interve intervened on soon. Kind of working. It's frightening. Yeah. It's a complex, honestly. Maybe that's why he's been such a tough boss. Could be. It could be. But, you know, last week he was just so good. It's like one week he's one person. Be bipolar. Thyme and rosemary, equal parts. Mortar and pestle, ground up. Spice of life. Here we go. At the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Hey, on the roll, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command line. Yeah, look familiar. Home rendered sea tallow. <laughs> That's the goods. Check out episode three to learn how to render your own beef tallow at home. Josh, don't do that shit. Knock it, boots brewing on my When I pop out like a lightning, polish, briefcase, no wallet. Just blew a bag like Scotsman, killed that. In the AM going real fast. UK, honey, at the drill that bonds me. Bailed out no confidence. The beautiful part of the way we use our beef tallow is it's a closed loop system. We just keep reusing and reusing, straining cheesecloth back in the fridge. It becomes our permanent frying oil once you use it as a fryer. And we never stop using it. It doesn't go to waste. We don't throw it out and we use it till it's gone. In nomine Patria, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. If there's a middle point between medium and medium high, mezza medium high, that's what we want. Sear both sides of the ribeye, heat down to medium, butter, shallots, garlic, and then your thyme and rosemary blend. And let that baste in there for a while to flavor up the steak really nicely. This is also gonna be the base of our sauce that we're gonna make right afterwards. Mom, he's cold in the Mi favorita, sabes te amo porque está sudando, eh? You know you got me stuck under your spell. You know you I'm hypnotized, no lie, no you can tell. Mi brujita, mi favorita, sabes te amo porque está sudando, eh? You know you got me stuck under your spell. I'm hypnotized, no lie, no you can tell. 
Get thick thighs, save lies. I guess I'm born again. Camera guy, it's time for food. Hey, Coffee guy? I cannot wait for this food. Oh. You ready, bud? Mary, KC. Who are you? We, are we good? What's, what's going on? What's going on here? We're filming a cooking show. Who are you? Yeah, mopped up. What is this? Who is this? Do you know this guy? I don't know. You don't know me? I'm Who? the coffee guy. No, this is the coffee no, guy. No, I'm the coffee guy. I you're, not, go you're not holding a coffee or wearing a robe. I just came back from a trip. Sir, can you call me? How long have you been on this trip? This guy lives here. I've been here for a week. Coffee guy was here last week. A mannequin? A mannequin. What do you mean a mannequin? Okay, just be honest. Are you the real coffee guy? <laughs> yeah, I'm the real coffee guy. I mean, who's been adding value the last week? I don't know who this guy is. Have I not been on multiple episodes of this show? Coffee guy's been here for all the episodes. Yeah, I've literally been working my ass off because I'm trying to make the best who's product possible. Who's wearing the robe? It's real, for me, it, it's about the robe. He stole my robe. Do we dig in? Hmm. That was the most tender piece of steak I've ever been into. The sauce is my favorite part. Is it? Hands down. Wow. It's so good. It's that good. I mean, you're not going to get a steak at a restaurant that tastes better than this either. I mean, Chef Donnie D, he is he is unbelievable, isn't he? He literally made steak frites absolutely perfectly cooked. The sauce was fantastic. The towel fries were incredible. The frites were insane. The steak itself was so tender. Perfect medium rare. The sauce... I mean, on one hand, Donnie D cooks me an unbelievable meal. And then on the other hand, I come back from my trip and I'm fucking replaced with this, a mannequin. Is that what I am to this show? You guys have me up against a fucking mannequin. Are you kidding me? I just don't know who to believe here. What do you mean? When he has the robe on it. This? <laughs> this is all really confusing. It's tough to know who to believe. One week is like one person and then the next week is like another person and they're both in the same room together. I am more than bewildered. I don't know what we're gonna do to find out who the real Brett is. If episodes one to five showed us anything, it's that Brett, the real coffee guy, is really only half value person. Mm. So maybe having two will bring that to a full valuable teammate. That math checks out. Yeah. Episode seven of Mobbed Up, Steak Freaks. Love you, XOXO.